Now, I know I'm linked to this in my player builder information, but I was helping my mom move, like I said in my post. So, because of that, I'm talking about 10 new takeaways I got from this, you know, information about the my player builder for, you know, 2K21 Nation. Gen. So, let's get into it. Now, obviously, the biggest takeaway you can get from this is there's no more pies in 2K21 Nation. Gen. Now, this whole no pie system reminds me of NBA 2K15 and NBA 2K16. Because for those of y'all that remember back in 2K15 and 2K16, what you would do is just up your attributes and then according to your attributes, the game would give you, you know, your own custom archetype or your own custom, I want to say build or whatever you want to call it. And 2K21 next gen seems to be doing the same thing. And in my opinion, this is a W because this is giving the player more freedom to choose what type of build he wants to make, which is something that the entire community has been asking for for so long. So I can't wait to see how this is going to work going forward. The ability to now change your physical attributes was huge for me because now, like I said earlier in the first point, that gives you more control over, you know, what you want to do with your mob player because before 2K21 current gen and before that, you just had pie charts. So you was limited to, you know, which speed you had and et cetera, et cetera. Like for example, in 2K21 current gen, you had to pick your physicals. So like if there was one physical chart that you would pick that would have a 97 speed, then you would have like a 30 strength. So that way your player will be fast, but at the same time, he still have trouble getting past his opponent because he have, you know, lack of strength. So, you know, that was a big problem before. So now I'm glad they're making speed and physicals more customizable on 2K21 next gen. Another thing I noticed is that you now start off at 40 overall. And in terms of how I'm feeling about this, I don't know if that means the grind is going to be a whole lot harder or easier. I really don't know. And just to be honest, I really could care less if it's harder because pause on that i could really care less if it's harder to you know get your attributes up and you know grind up to 99 overall because of the fact that you know me personally i got the legend edition so you know i'm gonna get that 100k vc regardless so i really don't care but anyway i don't know how this is gonna be because in the past you started off at 60 but now it's at 40 just like i said earlier with the whole build thing they're taking it back to the older 2Ks again where you know how you start off at 40 overall because I believe that the last 2K where you start off at 40 overall was 2K11 or 2K10, something like that, one of those two. So because they're starting you off at 40 overall again, I'm hoping that means that the grind's gonna be a whole lot harder to get to 99 because I ain't gonna lie, lately about, you know, the past two 2Ks or so, people were getting to 99 overall in like two months. So hopefully the overall rep up grind can take longer how it did before because like I said, people get 99 so fast now that it's not even worth paying attention to. So hopefully it holds more weight going forward. If you look closely on screen, you'll realize that there's now a feature where you can hide the badges you can't get. Now, this is not that big of a deal to me, to be honest, but it's something I'm glad that they implemented because in previous 2Ks, like 2K21 current gen, I, well, that's not really previous, but still, the point is, in previous 2Ks, like for example, 2K20 and 2K21 current gen, before that little my player builder game that they'll put you in when you, you know, will create your build at the beginning, you could select any badge you wanted because let's just say, for example, I had like three finishing badges and I had like a 76 driving dunk. And with those three finishing badges, even though I only had a 76 drive and dunk, I would still be able to get the posterizer badge on gold or contact finisher badge or whatever it was called. And you know, I should not have been able to get that contact finisher badge on gold with a 76 dunk. So now, because you can get certain badges, that means it balances out the game even more because it's more realistic. <laughs> like if I have a block rating of 31, I should not be able to get chased down artists on gold. See what I'm saying? Like it's just a whole lot better now, so I'm liking this going forward. So hopefully this is gonna be, you know, a feature that stays in the game when it comes to creating your badges and you know creating your builds in 2k21 next gen because what ends up happening oftentimes is that when a new 2k comes out mike wayne tends to listen to the community when it comes to them telling him what they want to take out of the game because they don't want to compete so i can see that happening in 2k21 next gen so hopefully like i said mike wayne doesn't you know listen to the people in the community or the wrong people in the community you know telling them to take something out so we're gonna see how this goes going forward And last but not least, the biggest takeaway that I got from this was that every badge category has Hall of Fame potential as long as you have enough badge points or enough attribute points in said area. Because in current gen, when you build your player and all that stuff, your Hall of Fame badge progression will be based off of which pie you chose. But now that there's no pies, you can choose any Hall of Fame badge you want, whether you're in finishing, shooting, playmaking, or defense. And you only get that Hall of Fame badge if you have enough attribute points in said area. And like for example, again, if your mid range and three point shot rating is in at least the 85, then the ice in my veins badge won't be available to you. And this is just another way that it brings an extra layer of realism to the my player builder. 
with all that we learned about a new my player builder for 2k21 next gen it's got me excited to see what it's gonna actually play like when the game actually comes out so i can't wait to see what it's gonna be like but anyway that's all i got for the video today so if you enjoyed the video and agree with anything i said in the video leave a like down below because when you leave a like it helps my channel grow also if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button because i post videos like this i want to say like four to five times a week so if you're new hit that sub button but anyway with that being said it's gonna do it for the video i appreciate y'all for watching stay tuned for my next video coming up soon i'm gonna be talking about you know all the stuff with the takeover system so stay tuned for that so yeah anyway i'm gonna catch y'all the next one and i appreciate y'all for watching follow me on my social media links gonna be down below in my description instagram and twitter it's all the same now but for this time it's been a one andre and i'm out y'all peace